This bowl of ramen was so hearty and delicious, smoky, savory, and full of flavor. Cooking family number 25, Birria Ramen. A mashup of Mexican and Japanese flavors that makes this fusion dish a must try. And here's how you make it. First off, we want to start with the beef. I'm using beef tenderloin here. Slice it thinly and into a bowl to marinate. The measurements for each ingredient are as usual in the description of the video below. Add in chipotle in adobo sauce that's been blended, then canned tomatoes, minced garlic, cumin powder, paprika, rice vinegar, and dried oregano. Mix it up and marinate for at least 20 minutes at room temperature or overnight in the refrigerator. Next, roughly chop some onions. I'm using some onion scraps here that the cafe is not using. They are still perfectly good and we don't want to waste it so we're using it for our stuffed meals. In a hot pan, add in oil and the onions and saute them. Next, cinnamon and cloves go in, saute until the onions start to turn translucent. Then the beef goes in and let it simmer. Let it cook in its own juices for a couple minutes, then add in water and some beef stock cubes. Cover the lid and let it simmer for an hour. While the beef is cooking, take that time to slice up the cabbage and cook the soft boiled eggs. Six minutes into boiling water, then an ice bath, then peel. Now after an hour, your beef should be tender, but we're going to continue to make it even more flavorful. Into a pan, add in oil and the beef and cook them until they start to fry. This is to impart even more flavor to the beef and to get some crispy brown bits. Now we want to finish off that soup base. So add in water, salt and pepper to taste for final seasonings. Finally, we want to cook the ramen. Instant ramen into a boiling pot of water. Finish cooking it off and then it's time to plate up, serve and enjoy.